So today I'm going to be showing you guys some DIY school supplies for back to school and also some organization because it's very important to keep organized for the new school year. I don't know if you can tell but I'm kind of tan right now because I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Go, you know. And let's see if we can get this video to 2,000 thumbs up and let's just jump right in. Hi guys, so right now I will be showing you guys four different DIYs for back to school of course. The first one is this DIY laptop cover and it's really hipster and really tumbler and I really like it and yeah. So first things first, you're going to find some tumbler PNGs or Google Tumblr overlays on your computer and go ahead and save that to your computer. Then I got this printable sticker paper from Michaels. They were $10 but it's going to be worth it in the long run if you you know if you're gonna use them but yeah I printed that out that I printed that out onto the paper and then I had this like marble sticker paper on my previous design I guess on my laptop so I took that off and I put my sticker paper on it and yeah they're actually pretty thick and I actually got some ones from Brandy Melville so I like put that on as well but um I think that computers are very important for school especially if it's like high school or college I know my school requires um laptops Anyway, that is pretty much how you make this case, and I just put my the other protective layer on top, and there you go. Moving on, I got inspired by American Apparel, like the tote bags they have. So I decided to make my own drawstring tote because American Apparel ones are like $48, $38. I'm, <laughs> I'm not paying that much for that. So I got these like uh, transfer paper. I had these from a long time ago and I just made my own like design and it's really easy. Literally the font they use is like Helvetica. I'll leave it on the screen, but you just bold that and you make the background whatever color you want. And then I printed it out on my dark transfer paper and and I got a tote bag from Michaels for $2, like literally $2. And then I just ironed it on. And then I just like took off the knots and I tied them together. Because before it was like a drawstring bag, I wanted it to be a tote. So I, you know, untied that and tied it on again. Moving on, we have this DIY notebook cover. It's basically a sticker, but I mean, we're reusing materials and I actually really like it. So let's get started. First things first, I printed out more Tumblr PNG overlays. Then I cut out to try to be like as specific as I can so I don't have many white spots. And I just like took the um, sticker off and I made it Adidas sign. Like, yeah, I mean, you know, whatever. But I put it on my notebook and that is it. It's really easy. And I did the same thing to another one but with a Wi-Fi, but I like the Adidas one better. Let me know which one you like better. But yeah, my voice is a little cracky today, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and... Oh, wait, wait, wait. never mind, never mind. We have something more. <laughs> we have a DIY organization thingy. So I got this wooden crate from Michael's, again, because it's my second home, for 10 bucks, I think. And then I just took my marble uh, sticker paper that I actually used on my laptop before, and I just um, peeled that off and uh, applied it to my crate. And I was actually thinking about painting it on the inside, but I was like, yeah, it's going to take too long to dry. So I just like went ahead and did the marble paper. I could have done it to like all the sides but I was too lazy so that's what I did then I took more of the black sticker paper and or contact paper I guess then I drew a heart and then I took the sticker paper and I wrote BTS it could stand for back to school or you know Bantang <laughs> Jungkook is my bias so yeah, and then I just put some like SAT prep books because I'm currently studying for that while well, prepping for that. And I put other notebooks in there. I just really like it. I think it can organize your stuff really well. And you can also put clothing pieces in there. I just think it's pretty useful and I love it. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!
So that is all for uh, so that is all I have for you guys today. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it, and comment down below which one of these DIYs is your favorite or you would try out. And let me know how many classes or what kind of classes you're taking this year. And yeah, I would love to know and reply. And I will see you guys in my next video, which is probably gonna be a back to school one. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Are you kidding me? No, are you kidding me? No, 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 stop, 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 stop. What the heck? Uh, I printed on the wrong side. Make sure you read the instructions before you print.